Hi guys, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix and today I'm giving you the most amazing tip on how to thread a needle. Um, this is just a regular needle with regular thread and this looks like magic. So uh, no more squinting, no more shoving things through, no more using hairspray to try and get the, um, the, the thread to actually go through the eye of the needle. This is just an outstandingly awesome tip. So um, no more waffle from me, let's go check it out. We have our yarn, we have our needle, and what we're going to do is just wrap that yarn over the edge of my finger, and then you simply rub the needle back and forth, and hopefully you can see that it's actually threaded itself. If I hold that out over the blue background, the needle itself has become threaded simply by rubbing back and forth over my hand. So I'll show you that again. We have needle, it's just a regular needle, we have the thread. I wrap the thread around my finger just so that there's a little bit of tension there and then on this puffy part, part of my hand I just rub the needle. The, the eye of the needle is, um, is flat against my hand so that there is room for the thread to come through. So there we have it rolling through and if I take my hand away you can see that it is actually threaded through the needle there. It may take a little bit of practice to, to get it started. If you find that the, um, the thread is actually bunching up next to the needle rather than on through the eye of the needle itself, then you can just place the needle over the top of where it is bunching and then continue with the rubbing motion and it will come through um, by itself, which you can see it's doing now. Uh, so that's that's all you need to do. If it's not instantly jumping through the eye of the needle, then um, then just place the eye over the piece of yarn that is starting to bunch up and stand up tall, and then continue on with that rubbing motion, and it will come through, and you will have a amazingly easy way to thread a needle. Hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully you can have a little practice and a play with that technique yourself. And if so, give the video a thumbs up, a like, and let me know that it's worked and let me know if it didn't work for you. Um, I will see you next time. Bye for now.